हेलो एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज ऑन बेसिक रेडिएशन फिजिक्स एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन बेसिक रेडिएशन फिजिक्स इज एटम एटम वाज डिराइव फ्रॉम द वर्ड एटमोस व्हिच वाज वर्ड फॉर नॉन डिवाइडेबल द थिंग व्हिच कैन नॉट बी फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू एनीथिंग बट एज पर आवर करंट नॉलेज वी नो दैट इट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू न्यूक्लियस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स व्हिच आर ऑर्बिटिंग अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस इज मेड अप ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स व्हिच आर न्यूट्रल पार्टिकल्स नॉट चार्ज एंड प्रोटॉन्स व्हिच आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल व्हिच रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस ड्यू टू फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड एटम इज डिपिक्टेड इन दिस सेंस दैट एक्स इज रिटर्न व्हिच इज सिंबल फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर एटम एंड ए इज गिवन ए सुपरस्क्रिप्ट व्हिच इज फॉर एटॉमिक मास नंबर Atomic mass number is the number of neutrons plus protons, or can be called as number of nucleons. That is total number of particles in the nucleus. Whereas Z is atomic number, which is given by total number of protons in the nucleus. Uh, we need to know this because NP ratio is there, which matters. NP ratio is One for atomic number less than twenty, but for twenty more than twenty atomic number, the NP ratio increases more than one, but still the atoms are stable. At like which means that at a higher atomic number, more numbers of neutrons are required to keep the atoms stable. But if there is any change in this NP ratio, it can lead to instability of the nucleus. So if we eject more number of neutrons from the nucleus the nucleus will become unstable and can lead to uh, emission of more radiation to get into stabilized form the next thing we need to understand is electron shells and energy levels electron resides in the shells and cannot exist between between these shells so this inner thing is nucleus and uh, outer to it is innermost electron shell k shell and outer to k is l m n o p like this we can go in k shell there are two electrons and usually it is having one subshell and l shell have two subshells in which there is two in one and six in second subshell and likewise uh, m has Uh, three subshells and like this we can go but uh, after n o oh, there are usually four subshells and 32 electrons in one shell there is one more thing we need to understand that there is binding energy electrons are held in shells by positive force force of attraction by nucleus and energy is required to overcome this force and if we want to eject that electron if we want to eject that electron a force is required and that force is referred as binding energy this binding energy is more for the shells which are near the nucleus and is more for the atoms which are having higher number of protons so this binding energy is the energy by which that electron is bound in that particular shell and uh, then there are energy levels Uh, each shell and sub shell have a particular binding energy which electron may acquire and leave the cell to get stuck into the next upper level or exit out of the atom so this is an these energy levels are the levels of and level of energy of the electrons these are not the binding energy binding energy and electron energy levels are different thing uh, which can be shown in the, this comparison so this is actually these values are for tungsten nucleus so this is nucle this is tungsten atom this is tungsten nucleus and in the next uh, uh, the first uh, shell of the tungsten nu tungsten atom is having 70 kilo electron volt of binding energy that means an electron which is in this uh, shell if it receive 70 kilo electron volt it may eject from this nucleus 
ठीक एंड सिमिलरली इलेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू इजेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस लेवल एंड पॉइंट सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस लेवल बट वेयर एज द एनर्जी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मोर इन एनर्जी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मोर इन द आउटर शेल एंड इट डिक्रीजेज वेन इट कम नियर द न्यूक्लियस सो so this uh, this we need to understand and we will explain how x ex, uh, x ray radiations are emitted we need to understand the difference between the binding energy and the electron energy level molecule is combination of atoms and uh, atom in atoms uh, there are particular levels but in uh, molecules it is energy band uh, that there is range of energies and this we need this will help us to understand how tld work so why we need to know the above said information first thing is x ray production most of the radiation oncology now deals with the x rays so x rays are produced uh, when an electron in a higher ener energy level loses its energy and come to lower level the difference between these two levels is emitted as x radiation so second thing is uh, neutrons and proton production neutrons and proton protons are pro produced by bombarding nu bombarding nucleus of different atoms with neutrons and protons uh, third thing is np value np value we need to understand to understand the stability of a particular atom or an element uh, ionization ionization is defined as ejection of electron from the atom into the infinity or space uh, not into any subshell so making that atom as positively charged particle and this is very important part of the whole process because it is the ultimate process which causes biological response thank you very much